Hi Pisces, welcome to your August through September, well, all of August, beginning of September reading. This is a general reading. Understand that most general readings don't resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is your August through beginning of September reading, Pisces. I want to thank all of you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Be assertive. Those that have commented, that have donated, that have booked personal readings, I am truly appreciative for everything. So let's see what's going on with you, Pisces. What is going on first half of August? You're ready. Be assertive because you're ready. You know what you want. You know what you want to do. You want how you want. You know you you know how to move forward with whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Oh wow, that one went, went flying. Sorry for my hat arm there. Let's see. Okay. If you believe. All right, Pisces, what's going on? What is going on? I'm feeling all kinds of ups and downs for you. One minute you know what you want. The next minute you're not sure. And look at that. The two of wands in reverse. Yeah. You're not quite sure which path to take. And no matter what decision you make, be assertive in your communication. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean to be a jerk. But it means own your truth. Be victorious in your truth. Stand empowered in your truth. Know who you are. Know what you want. Look at you. Page of Cups. Trying to have this love offer. Trying to put your foot down in a relationship or in a partnership. You're like, enough is enough. If you're dealing with an earth sign or a Sagittarius, enough is enough. We need to find balance here. We need to figure out which path we're taking to move forward. You want to put your foot down, but you got one foot in the water and one foot on earth, on the ground. And that Queen of Pentacles is just staring, just staring at that big old pentacle. Because right now, that's where their mind is, is trying to have a practical sense of finances in the home. You're just like, how much more of this can I take? I want to move forward. I don't know which path to take. I know what I want. I know what I stand for. Are you ready to walk forward with me onto a brighter future together? Well, are you? What's going to happen? Do you have these plans? I have these plans. I know I'm ready. The angels are telling me I'm ready. Are you? What's Pisces waiting for? Trying to cut that shit out. I'm trying to communicate. You are, you are about to communicate to someone that you are ready to move forward in something. You're ready for that promotion. You're ready for a divorce. You're ready for marriage. You're ready for something more serious. You're ready for that divorce to happen so that you can move forward in the life that you want. You're ready to cut out what has been weighing on you. Because there is something that has been weighing heavily on you. And you're just, you're just done. You are just done. First half of August and you realize I'm done. I'm done crying over spilled milk. I've wasted too much time with that. I know there's two cups back there, but I can't help but stare at those three cups that have spilled. And the fact that I can't let it go, I can't let it go, weighs heavily. And I know that I need to cut this shit out, speak my truth, stand in my truth, and move forward. I need to do what's right for me, regardless of who gets hurt in the end, because I need to honor myself. There has been heartbreak and disappointment right? If you're in a third party situation, you're either, you're either ready to end it or you're ready to tell that person to end it with the other person so that you can move forward with them. But you're ready to let go of this third party situation. You're ready to put an end to the heartache, to the disappointment. It weighs heavily on you. It will only create doubts, resentment, guilt. You just want nothing more but to move forward. You want to do what's right by you. And so you're going to take some time to really think about what your next step is. Do, do you feel secure enough within your truth to speak it, 
to say it, to own it, and move forward. Because if you believe that you know your truth, that you can walk in your truth, stand in it, and communicate it, then you could just say, uh-uh, third party situations aren't for me. You need to decide. Because I feel like that's going to be you. You need to decide one or the other. Is it one of us? Is it both of us? What do you have in mind? I'm all about working together, but not in my relationships. Not with three people. You feel as though this third party situation maybe is a little bit out of control. Maybe there's a Taurus involved. I don't know. Maybe this has something to do with someone's marriage. You're done with a third party situation because you want something more traditional. Maybe at some point there was an understanding that you can see other people, but you're done with that now. You're at a point, you've thought about it. This has done nothing but hurt your self-esteem, your confidence, your relationship. It builds guilt and resentment. You don't like where this is going. You want something more traditional and you're ready. You're ready to speak it and do it. You just want it to be two of you to move forward to calmer waters. You want something new. You have a lot of threes here, Pisces. A lot of threes tells me too many people. There is no balance when you have too many people involved. You need to find your strength to communicate clearly, to be assertive in your communication, stand your ground. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. Own it. Because you're ready for what you want. But is that other person ready to give you what you want? And you need to be ready for whatever that answer may be and how you're going to move forward in it. You need to be ready for the different outcomes that may entail, that go with it, right? And so those are, those are some things that you need to think about at the beginning of August. You know, there's so many different things going on. All these different energies changing. We're in Mercury retrograde. Maybe for some time you were okay with seeing other people. But after, you know, Mercury retrograde bringing up all these different energies and you're starting to feel, you're starting to feel a little resentment, a little bit of regret in agreeing to a third party situation, agreeing to an open relationship. You've realized now that you're ready for something more traditional. And so it's up to you what you want. What type of relationship do you want? One that is trustworthy? One that no longer questions whether or not there is trust, there is faith, there is hope in a relationship. It is up to you what relationship you are in, how you want to move forward. Give me one more for second half of August. And the answer is no. If there is no trust, there is no relationship. Simple as that. If there is no trust, there is no relationship, Taurus. I'm sorry, did I just say Taurus? What? Taurus is all up in this business of Pisces because I had a lot of earth and that Taurus card came out. And as I shuffle, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles is there. Really? Okay, there is some strong Taurus energies that are co-mingling with Pisces. Not even funny. It's up to you where you go from here right it's up to you if you want to keep fighting for this relationship to make it something more traditional something worthwhile it is up to you if you wait for this offer probably a taurus page of pentacles it's up to you if you choose to continue fighting and waiting for this you have taken a break you've thought about it long enough it's up to you where you go from here You want success. You want victory. You want to charge ahead without having to worry about trust issues, without having to worry about if there are other people. You want to start over. You want to bring this back to life, but in a much more traditional way is what I'm feeling. You want them to honor you, but there is a toxic situation that is having 
whether this is you, you feel a missed opportunity because somebody is tied and bound to someone else. Again, with the third party situation. There are missed opportunities here where either you miss out on a relationship with someone else or they miss out on a relationship with you. Because I get the sense that there are too many people involved here when it should just be two. There is love though. There is love between you. Again with the temperance card. You're ready to charge ahead. You're ready to move in. You're trying to strategize, trying to figure out how to move ahead. Trust. Trust. Trust needs to be there between two people. If you want a traditional relationship, a relationship of two, not three or more, you cannot be afraid to speak your truth. If you need to fight for this relationship, in other words, let them know, hey, I know that we agreed to have an open relationship. I know we said we'd see other people. I know I said I'd wait for you to leave so-and-so. I know I said this. I said that. I want to move forward. Are you with me or not? Let's grow together. Let's build together. Let's bring the tradition back into this relationship where there is trust and harmony and love and not the bullshit. Not the, not the worry that somebody else is with someone else. Not the worry that there's too many people involved in this relationship. It causes confusion. Way too much confusion. Because they think it's okay to see other people because they have all these options. But what are you wasting your time on all these other options for? Or maybe they are. And you're done with it. You're done. It was fun while it lasted. It was nice in the beginning. You were cool with it. They were cool with it. But now you've come to this realization that no, now I need results. Now I'm going to stand in my throne here. I'm going to sit in my throne and I'm going to expect certain things out of this relationship. And if you can't give them, them to me, if you can't join me on my throne, I'm going to make it for me. I'm going to go out and find myself someone else because I believe that what's meant for me will be. I am standing my ground. I know this is what I want. <laughs> and you have the five of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in reverse. So Pisces, if you are dealing with an earth sign, the minute you let them know that no, I am done with an open relationship. I am done waiting for you to get divorced. I am done waiting for you to, you know, grow up, get a job, whatever it is. You're done. You're done feeling left out in the cold because you feel you're ready to move forward, but they're not. And the minute you present this with that, that you present them with this is when they feel that their world is upside down. So why do we have the no card? Well, maybe they maybe you don't want them to be single. Maybe you're afraid that when you put your foot down, they're going to say no to you. And after all the time spent working on this relationship, waiting for it to be what you want it to be, waiting for it to be a traditional relationship, they probably won't mind saying, I'm okay if I'm single. They're wishy-washy. That It's like afraid of commitment. All of a sudden, they're going to want to run away. They know you've both put your work into this. But they might not be ready for what you're ready for. And sometimes that Seven of Cups energy of having a lot of options is easier than to just dealing or being with one person. And so the universe is going to say, you know what? We're going to charge ahead. We're going to move this ahead for you. It might not be the way you expected it to be, but guess what? Things will move ahead for you. It's time to end a karmic cycle. And maybe this is you. You stand in your throne as after everything that starts moving ahead and you've just had it. You say, you know what? I like my throne. This is where I'm going to be. You're going to be here with me or not? What's going to happen? What are you choosing? What path are you choosing? And so let's see where this takes us into September. That was 
the second half of August. So let's see, where does this take us into September? What can we expect the beginning of September for Pisces? What is going on? Yeah, see, there you go. Communicate clearly. You got to speak up. Communicate clearly. Be assertive in your communication. Stand your ground. Don't be afraid of the result. Again, if it's meant for me, it will be, right? So if it's meant for you, they might be ready. If it's meant for me, it will be. So communicate clearly, be assertive with what it is that you're trying to create with this person, with this partner. <laughs> because when you do, guess what? The answer just might be yes, or the answer just might be yes, he's the one, yes, she's the one, or no, not the way you planned it, but we've got something better for you. So the first thing that came to mind when you saw that yes card, that is what the angels are saying yes to when you communicate clearly. Because by then, it will be perfect timing as we go into September. Wow, you have all kinds of upward movement, all kinds of energies taking place here. You've come to a realization throughout the month of August that the path you were on just was not meant for you. It just wasn't for you. However, I do feel as though the partner that you were with is the one that you want to continue with, right? And because of that, you finally realize it's time for me to speak my truth. It's time for me to tell them that, no, I'm not happy with the way things are. I want it to just be me and you. I want something more traditional. I'm ready for it to just be me and you. So what does Pisces need to communicate clearly on? <laughs> oh my, be careful with that clear communication. You're not happy you're not ha okay so i've got two scenarios here communicate clearly if someone has promised you they're getting a divorce but they haven't started the process it's time for you to communicate and say hey hey where are you where are you with that divorce have you done the paperwork have you seen an attorney have you filed do you have a court date are you getting divorced what's the hold up What's the holdup? If this is someone who's still attached to an ex, they feel bound to them. They feel as though they can't move forward. And you're just like, enough is enough. I need to do right by me. I'm cutting you out and I'm cutting them out. Or I'm cutting you out until you finally decide when you're going to cut them out. Because it should only be me. Stand your ground. Cut them out. And be ready for a new beginning. Look at that. You got earth all up in here. If that is with your king of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. He's got the Midas touch. You want a new start with them. A new beginning with them. And so communicate clearly and get get let them know exactly what it is that you want. So the answer is yes. When it comes to the Knight of Pentacles, yes, they're moving slowly. All right, what is going on here? Yes, they are confused about the moving slowly, <laughs> about moving forward. Why the yes? Yes, you are in a third-party situation. There are other people involved in this situation, and it could be more than three, three to seven, right? I'm not saying they've got seven girlfriends, seven boyfriends. Maybe they got three kids. Maybe got, they got an ex and two kids, and there's your three people. Maybe they got more than that. Maybe they got an ex, a mother-in-law, a father-in-law, all kinds of different people all up in the mix, pushing, pushing their opinions where it doesn't belong. What is going on with this yes card? Yes, you will find yourself to be victorious. You will charge ahead. 
You will get the recognition that you have been waiting for. King of Swords, it has taken you quite some time to be standing by, watching people end their relationships, watching these harsh endings all around you. You know it's time. Yes, it's time to be this cold, calculated, serious King of Swords, whether that's you or your partner. But somebody needs to put an end to the confusion and the third party situations. Tell me about this perfect timing in the beginning of September. The Empress card, new beginnings, giving birth to new ideas, equal give and take, finally. However, I am going to point out, if this is somebody who has been married or has children, there is still three people here. So it may feel like he's giving you all the attention or she's giving you all the attention, but the other one is getting the money. There's something weird like that where there is no equal give and take in all areas, but there might be in certain areas. And you want nothing more than to come together with this person. But you're afraid that it won't move forward to what you want it to be. Perfect timing says otherwise. Perfect timing says it is time for you to stand strong and move forward. Tame that wild beast, whether it's the ex, the baby mama, or the person that you're dealing with. Because I feel that you are dealing with an earth sign here, Pisces, but I feel as though it has a lot to do with financial stability in the home. What is going on? Why do I feel like I've seen these cards before? <laughs> Temperance, slow down in your approach. Yes, be assertive. Yes, communicate clearly. Don't, don't cause fighting, but stand your ground in what you want. You want something traditional. They got to end their other marriage. They got to end their other relationship. They got to set strict boundaries. Because look what they have waiting for them. They've got a crown, the finish line. But these little petty fights, either that's what you're afraid of or that's what they're afraid of. Pisces, this is your reading for August through September. I am going to pull one more card for you after I show you all these cards. So these are the cards that you got. August, be assertive. You're ready. If you believe mid-August it's up to you trust no and then we move on to the beginning of September where you need to communicate clearly because you've got a yes card here that you want to make things happen for that perfect timing right so that's what you have going on for the beginning of August, middle of August, and beginning of September. And now I'm going to pull a message from your angels to tie this all together. What is going on for Pisces? Let me have a message card for Pisces. Athena. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. And so, yes, be assertive. Communicate clearly. Stand your ground. You know what you want. Don't be afraid to stand in your power. Don't be afraid to tell them, this current situation, it's not in my best interest. It does not make me feel good. I want to move forward in a loving relationship, a traditional relationship, just me and you. What do we need to do to get this to happen? And that's the conversation you need to have, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, sending you lots of love, hoping that you guys survive Mercury Retrograde. And I'll see you next month. I've got love readings coming soon. Thank you so much. Bye.